Friday is free. Welcome to my Korean world. So today we're gonna go to Costco, Korea. My sister-in-law has a Costco card, so she's bringing us here. She's visiting, and I've never been here before. So let's see if they have anything different from American Costco. This particular Costco is located in Yongdongpo, which is in Seoul. Today I'm gonna talk about 10 unique things that you can buy at Costco, Korea, and some other stuff. Number one, bulgogi bake. This is a Korean take on the Costco chicken bake. It's kind of like pizza bread rolled up and stuffed with cheese and bulgogi. It's kind of salty and it seems really unhealthy, but it's good. The only thing is at the Costco that we went to in Yongdongpo, there is no place to sit, so everyone was just standing around eating their food. <laughs> Mediheal masks. Mediheal masks are my absolute favorite Korean sheet masks. I usually get them for about a dollar from Olive Young, but these particular masks tend to go for two to four dollars each. So in this package, you get 30 masks for 33,000 won, which ends up being about 30 US dollars. What a steal. They also sell a good variety of other Korean beauty and skincare products here in bulk. Tell you about the brands I saw later in this video. Terra Rosa Coffee. Terra Rosa is one of the biggest and most popular coffee companies in Korea. They roast their own beans and they have a big roastery outside of Seoul and shops throughout the country. Here at Costco, you can buy their coffee in bulk, which seems like quite a good deal. I don't know if I need this much coffee, especially since coffee goes bad after a couple of weeks, but usually a bag of coffee at Terra Rosa goes for about 20 or $30, and this gigantic package goes for the same price. If you split it up among two or three or four friends who also like coffee, you found quite a good bargain. Packing tape. I'm always sending packages and in need of packing tape, so I got this big bag for about 10 or 12 US dollars. Next care acne patches. These are a favorite of mine. You just stick them on your pimple overnight and the patch sucks all the juice out of the pimple. Bibigo frozen food. Bibigo is one of my favorite Korean frozen food brands. I like their mandu dumplings. They have different flavors and my family likes the dokgalbi. And it's not something that you want to eat every day, but when you're at a pinch and you don't know what to make for dinner, you can just Heat up some of the bibigo food and make some rice and vegetables and you have a meal. Fish and cheese snacks. This may sound a little weird to non-Asians, but in my family we love our dried fish and cheese. And Costco sells all different kinds of dried fish in bulk and it's a good high protein snack in my opinion. Leg patches. These are kind of like icy hot leg patches. I don't personally use these because I don't have those kinds of aches and pains yet, knock on wood. But both of my sisters-in-law and my mother-in-law like to use these after a long day of walking around Korea and shopping. Luxury goods. This was really weird to see in Costco because when I think of Costco, I think of it as a discount retailer. But hey, you can get a Cartier watch here as well as Prada and Burberry handbags. And I think I also saw Diptyque fragrances. I think putting those things in here kind of degrades the brand. No offense to Costco. But yeah, foreign products. If you're American and you're living in Seoul and you don't have access to the military base, chances are Costco will be one of your go-tos for things like bagels, cheese, caviar, just kidding. But they do have that here and other American or foreign products. This is Korea, so of course you have to have your air purifiers and they also have kind of a nice stationary section. I thought that this little drawer storage system was really cute and I really wanted to get it, but I didn't. And they had a lot of stationary, but nothing that really spoke to me. Those are not really my favorite characters. Now, here's a detailed look at the beauty and skincare section of Costco. And I recognize a lot of these brands, Hada Labo, SK2, I hope I use their cushion compact, but I haven't tried the cream before. Han Skin, CNP Laboratories, Anessa is a Japanese brand, and Hera is a department store brand. I always like to look at the kids section nowadays. Um, I exercised so much restraint in not purchasing this fake pink KitchenAid mixer for my kids play kitchen but we did end up getting this glass deco kit this was sienna's favorite thing at the time we went and i wasn't opposed to it so we got it but then i regretted it later because the girls ended up sticking their pieces all over the white furniture and it kind of stained the furniture so i should have gotten those puzzles instead 
There's also a section with healthcare stuff like ginseng and supplements and things like propolis, but although it was tempting, we ended up not buying any of it because um, we're not too familiar with the regulatory agencies here and I, I don't know, I just feel a little doubtful. They also sell air purification masks in bulk, which is always nice. They also had line friends and baby shark toothbrushes, but I ended up not getting this because my kids really aren't into either of those characters. But the price was not bad. You can also get outdoor products like these wagons for towing kids and all of your junk. Now we're going to head downstairs to the basement floor. We entered on the first floor. And this basement floor has like the food court area. Only thing is there are no seats here. And they also have a lot of food. Of course, it's Costco, so they have samples, which I always love. Costco carries American meat, but they also carry a lot of seafood that tends to cater to Korean tastes. However, they also carry stuff that is hard to find in other parts of Seoul, like this giant octopus. The produce was just okay, I thought, in terms of price and quality. And they have a whole selection of baked goods. This bake section always reminds me of uh, last year there was a Korean dessert shop that was selling Costco cookies but passing them off as organic homemade cookies and they had like lines out the door they got really popular on social media and then people found out that they were just selling Costco baked goods so you know what don't always trust what you see on Instagram we don't have a Costco membership I don't know what do you guys think do you think it's worth it I think it's about 35,000 won in Korea if you end up going to this Costco, don't forget to validate your parking ticket with the stamp at the door. You just do it yourself or else you might have to pay. Close your eyes. <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> Can we do it now? Do you guys want to see what we bought? Um, this is mostly my sister-in-law's stuff, actually all of it is, but um, she got a lot of K-Beauty products. This AHC cream is like eye cream that you could use on your face, and I haven't tried most of these products. The only ones I've tried are the Next Care and MediHeal masks. Let me know in the comments below what you like to buy at Costco, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Thanks, I'll talk to you later. Bye!